Moving out to Georgia to the fourth day of the trial and the death of Ahmaud Arbery. Here's what happened today in court. Prosecutors questioned several of their witnesses today, the most they've gotten through in a single day so far. Witnesses included a detective with the Glenn County Police Department, a neighbor who called police before the shooting, reporting Arbery as a suspicious person and also the lead investigator on this case. The detective testified he asked Gregory McMichael if Arbery broke into the house under construction the day of the shooting. McMichael told him, quote, that's just it. I don't know. I don't know. On your side's Kaylee Tracy has been following this case since it started. She is live right now in Brunswick. And Kaylee, you spoke with Arbery's mother and she was talking about one witness in particular today. That's right, Jeannie. She came out of the courthouse just after five tonight and told us that she found the lead investigator in the case. His testimony today on the stand for most of the day, his testimony disturbing because of what she says that he told her the night that her son was killed. She says that investigator told her that Arbery died while he was committing a burglary. But in court today, that lead investigator didn't say anything about Arbery committing a burglary. He didn't say that to the court. That is now Cooper Jones says today she could finally put a face to to a name of that investigator, Stefan Lowry. She says in his nearly uh, three hours of testimony today, he never mentioned what she says he told her the night her son was killed. Again, he said that he was killed committing a burglary. The Glynn County Police Department disputes that Lowry or any other officer told Arbery's mother that. I stand before you as the proud mother of Ahmaud Arbery. Ahmaud was my baby. Ahmad was chased. He was later killed while he tried to run for his life. In the beginning, I didn't understand why God had placed this assignment on me. Mm. Hmm. But that being said is that God would never fail you. Lowry testified also today that after the shooting, William Roddy Bryan, he is the man who filmed the video of the shooting. He told Lowry that he tried to back into Ahmaud Arbery with his truck a few times, and he said that he, quote, wished I would have took him out and not get him shot. That is what, again, Lowry testified in court today that William Roddy Bryan told him as he interviewed him after the shooting. Now, prosecutors will continue to call their witnesses starting at 9 a.m. tomorrow, and we will Bring that to you live. For now, reporting live in Brunswick, Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News on your side. Kaylee, thank you. Our coverage continues.